I am the resurrection and the life, said the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believe thou this. For I know that my redeemer liveth, and he shall stand in the latter days on the earth. And though after my sin were destroyed in fire, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Whom I shall seek for myself. My eyes shall be old, not another. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. So blessed be the name of our Lord. Lord, make me to know my end and the number of my days, that I may be certified how long I have to live. Behold, God has made my days as it were a span long, and my age is even as nothing. And respect with me. And early every man living all together in vanity. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Amen. We have come to celebrate a precious uh, gift, precious jewel that God has blessed a lot of us. To witness. You know, I have been pondering what to do today Amen. because this was not an ordinary man. Amen. 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 I, I think about his life in our community. And I want to say, God, thank you. The Bible said that every child born in the world is a gift Amen. from God. Amen. And what a gift. Amen. What a gift God blessed our community and the town of Princeville and many other areas to have been able to be a witness to. Amen. And so I just want to celebrate today. Yes. I want to tell the Lord thank you. Uh, for sending us such a precious gift. Amen. So at this time, as we now shall uh, start the order of service, we're going to ask that everyone will respect the order of service as it has been presented to us. And as your name appear on the program, I'm not going to get up and keep calling everybody. Just come as the Lord uh, bless you to come according to the program. Amen. 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 So at this time, we should now have a selection. Yeah. 
opportunity to be here. Amen. Um, Hallelujah. Um, I won't keep you long. Um, I did have a brief opportunity of being able to live with Brother Poncho and uh, to say that he didn't affect our life in that house to be an understatement. Amen. Amen. It affected the life of our church as well. He always said, it's a blessing, Pastor. It's a blessing. He was always had a great spirit about him, uh, but he was also one that when he was ready to go, he was leaving. He wasn't going to stop him. It didn't matter what the weather was like. It didn't matter what it was. And amen. He was on the go. So, uh, that being said, um, I stay on the go pretty. Uh, uh, I stay on the go quite a bit myself. I was actually running into the neighborhood. Uh, we got the recovery home there to change real quick, and I saw the funeral procession, and I was like, well, it ain't going to change. So we're getting to the end of the dress. I just left the jail and just got done picking up another man, getting ready to take him out somewhere to get him a place to stay. So uh, Poncho was a blessing to me, my church, to the community. Uh, always had a great spirit, always had a smile on his face, and uh, just a pleasure to know him as long as we did. So praise God for him. So uh, I'll get to the reading of the scriptures. You know, I thought about what verses I would read for him in the Old Testament, and immediately these verses came to my mind uh, right when you told me, Sister Corn, that I'd be able to read those. Amen. So, uh, hast thou not known? Come on now. Thou, hast thou not heard mm -hmm. that the everlasting God, the Lord, mm -hmm. the creator of the ends of the earth, yes. taketh not, neither is weary, there is no searching of his understanding. To give it power to the faint. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Amen. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. Poncho was no young man. Amen. Amen. But he was a strong man. Yeah. Amen. And he could walk just about anywhere. Yeah. Ride a bike just about as far as you as anybody. Amen. Yeah. Uh, I've never met another man. Like he said, God creates all of his people different. Amen. I have never met another man like Moses. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Hallelujah. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Amen. Now the new thing. But I would not have you be ignorant, brethren mm -hmm. and sisters, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not. I promise you, his life is much better. I asked Poncho, and I'll make this brief. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Oh, yes, Pastor. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Praise God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. He ain't walking no more. He ain't riding no more. He thought of leaping and kicking up soldiers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That he saw not, even as others which have no hope. Mm -hmm. We got a better hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. We will see him again. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain uh -huh. under the coming of the Lord should not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, could be in five minutes. Hallelujah. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Mm -hmm. Then we which were alive Amen. and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Oh, what a day that will be. Oh, what a day. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, I comfort you. We can comfort one another. We can bring comfort to each other with these words. Let's pray. Father, uh, that's really, we talk about a prayer of comfort, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, that's really all the comfort we need. Lord, we know that this is not forever. Lord, this could be for all five seconds, for all we know. Lord, we know that you are coming back again. And Lord, we know that all the signs of the time tell us that it's going to be sooner rather than later. Father, we know that everything is pointing to at any moment, at any day, in the twinkling of an eye. Lord, we can forever be not only with you again, but we can be with you again. Lord, 
Lord, so we ask you, Father God, Lord, be with those. Lord, of course, our community has lost somebody. Somebody that always had a smile on their face. Lord, I pray that we go ahead and fill those shoes. Lord, we put a smile on our face. Yes. Uh, Lord, I'm somebody that was always willing to work. Lord, I pray that we fill those shoes. Uh, Lord, I'm somebody that was always willing to be nice to somebody. Be pleasure to somebody. Be a blessing if you could. Yes. Lord, I pray that you help us to fill those shoes. Lord, you said in your word that we entertain angels unaware. Hallelujah. Lord, I believe that Poncho was one of those people yes. who might have been an angel in the way. God, I pray that you'd help us to fill those shoes. And Lord, I pray that we would not be weary. Lord, that we would not faint. Lord, that we would mount up with the wings of eagles. And God, that we would comfort each other with these words. This isn't forever. It's just for a while. God, I pray that you fill the void. I pray that you bring up more people. I pray that you help us, Father be with the remainder of the service. God, we commit these things to you. We ask it all in the name above every name. It's in the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
talking to you before. That power still works. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Let's, let's stop one more time for that. So let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop. Let's stop.
just out of share on what you see here. You can't judge the book by what you see. Right. Okay? So I could be dressed up in the finest, but torn up on the inside. That man enjoyed his life, and he knew he was surrounded by people that loved him. And I became to love him as one of my brothers. See, because when you get in somebody's life, you don't, you don't have to know who they are or whatever. See, if God has blessed you, you should be blessed to somebody else. Amen. You hold on to it. It's not going to go nowhere but with you. And he wants us to spread our love for one and another around. And so you don't have to have much, but maybe a kind word or whatever. Amen. And I thank God for the time that I was able to uh, be a part of his life. And still in you. And he's going may in time harvest continue on and he can minister outside of the walls. Let's stop. Praise the Lord, everybody. On behalf of the Shaw family, Pancho was our family. I met Pancho really through my aunt Juanita. And um, I never forget, and like you said, Pancho would ride that bike in the wheel. My aunt Juanita, from when she first saw it getting sick, Pancho said, oh, Nanny, I'm going to see Juanita. I said, Pancho, you know Juanita in the hospital? He said, yeah. He said, well, I'm going to see Juanita. He rode that bicycle from seven terrace to that hospital to see Juanita every time. Amen. Even when he went to the nurse home, nurse at home, he would ride that bike to see Juanita. Mm -hmm. Juanita was his friend. Amen. We all were his friends. And I like to thank thank um Evangelist Horn for doing this for the Southern Terrace and Princeton community. Amen. Amen. We thank you. We thank you for even allowing Puncho, taking up time with Puncho. But a lot of people wouldn't. That's right. So we thank you for that. And I'd like to thank all the Southern Terrors. Even though I'm not a part of Southern Terrors, my family is Southern Terrors. I thank all y'all for what you have done. How some of you have fed Puncho. How some of you have opened your hearts to it. My heart is heavy. And I thank you. Because it wasn't for a lot of I don't know what would happen to Puncho. But we thank y'all from the Shaw family to each and every one. We thank y'all. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord on today. We give God glory and give him honor for all the great things that he has done and he's yet still doing. I want to thank God for how he allowed Puncho to be a part of my life. Um, I learned Puncho from my mom. Um, he would go and help take care of my mom and, and do things around the house for her. Um, we go and eat and they go and fuss and then they make up and all that good stuff. But I thank God for that on today. I can truly say that my mom, before she passed, before we hung up the phone with her, her remarks to me were, take care of Punch. Amen. And so God has blessed me to do just that. And I'm so grateful on today for, for the life that Punch will live. Um, Puncho was the type that he make you mad. <laughs> He make you mad, and he make you mad. Mm -hmm. But you still that is that there was Amen. a love Amen. that drew us back together. Amen. Uh, Amen. Punch over when, when he wanted something from me. When he wanted uh, some Chinese food. When he wanted a radio, he called me home. But when he got mad at me, come on now, he didn't want me to talk to him. He called me Teresa. <laughs> so Puncho, he had his ways like we all do. But I thank God that in the year 2006 that he accepted the Lord and Savior, as his Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. And as the young lady said, we, we can't look at people from the outside. outside. Yes. Yes. It's, it's what's on the inside. Amen. And I can truly say that Pancho loved the Lord. Amen. And in his own way, in his own mindset, he talked about the Lord. Mm -hmm. He loved the Lord. 
he gave God glory and honor and praise over the over over God. He said the medicines work for me, and I thank God for the medicines. He said, but God healed me. Come on, man. Come on, somebody. Yes, right. yes. So I bless God on today for the, the life that he lived. I thank God for all of Southern Terrace. Amen. Um, you all, how you just stayed by him and how you fed him and how you just been a blessing to him. And that's what it's all about, people of God. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in these last days. We don't know when God's going to call us home. Yeah. And so it behooves us Amen. to love one another. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We don't have to like each other, but, but the Word of God says we have to love one another. Amen. That's right. And I right. truly say on today that I, I truly love Pancho. My husband, he loved Pancho. He never called him by his name. He always said, your <laughs> Pancho had some ways. He, he knew how to play with you. Come on, somebody. <laughs> he knew how to get what he wanted out of you. And he was spoiled. Yeah. We spoiled Puncho Southern Terrace. Whatever Puncho wanted, and if he was good, he got it. Come on, somebody. Right, right. And I'm so grateful on today that the life that he lived and that he loved the Lord. And I believe, according to the scriptures, come on. Good evening to everyone. Amen. Amen. Give an honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Amen. and all the ministers. Amen. To all of you. The word says, let your life be for you. Mm -hmm. And all the thing I want to say after that is, look around. Look around. Mm -hmm. Come on. His life spoke for him. Mm -hmm. He was a community person mm -hmm. and he was to love him. Just look around. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 I would like to say, on the behalf of the Southern Terrace community, it's not what we did for Pancho that was so important, but it is the love legacy mm -hmm. that he left for the Southern Terrace community. Mm -hmm. all right, all right. Come back now. Take my word for me. Look at all the beautiful flowers blooming. They're going to bloom in the spring when the earth let us know that Christ All right, all right. He bloomed in the Southern Terrace community. All right, all right. That's why. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Not so much that I fed him. He said feed him. But it's also what he brought back to us. Amen. He was not a phony. All right, he all was right. real. All right, all right. Who he was. He was real. Amen. He was real. Amen. And he showed that to his community. Amen. If the old lady had some trash out there, he didn't have to go to Pancho. Will you come and move my trash? He saw the old lady with trash. Need to be put that big trash can. Need to be put to the road. He would go, would not say, can I do it? Or you want me to do it? Or you have to do it? He just went. And he just pulled out those trash cans. Something he saw that was needed. We're going to miss him. Oh, yeah. We're going to miss him. All right, all right. That's the male of our town. <laughs> hey, we hey, are man. going to miss Pancho and the Son of Jesus. Because we are going to be for her. For what the love and the joy and the peace that he gave to us. Mm -hmm. It was good. Amen. We're going to miss him.
know Amen. on my own tree. Spread your back to the city circle to Sister Mary to get food for the old people in the community. We're going to miss them. Not so much what we did with them. All right. All right. But what we did for us. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Tells us that the joy of the Lord yes. is our strength. Amen. Say so. And I praise God today for 
you know, his great love that he had toward all of us and toward Poncho that he gave him the strength to just to 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 live life to the fullest. Amen. Uh-huh. And every day that you know that he was here, many days that I saw him, everything that he did when he did the flowers, he did cutting the grass, whatever he did, he always did it to the best of his ability. And he always did it with, you know, great joy. Great joy. That joy can only come from God. Amen. And he brightened up my days, many days, that I might have been feeling like sad or down. He would always brighten them up. And so I praise God, you know, for that gift that God gave him of that joy and that talking to people and helping people and just being a great hard worker and so you know i just am grateful today for him just living every day to the fullest and thriving thriving through difficulty through adversities you know he thrived and i give god praise for that Anybody else? Okay. Uh, Pastor, Pastor. Yeah. Um, anybody wondering who, who the guy on the video? Um, I'm Teresa's ex-husband, first cousin. And um, he's not here, but I can continue on and help out. So hey, hey. I, I'm here. Hey, hey. I had to go get my uh, car service this morning. had to go to Rocky Mount. But I made it. I told her I'll be here. So I'm here. Again, we want to just give God all the honor and glory. You know, this this is a message. Amen. This is the message for you. Amen. Today. Amen. Um, we said love is action. Love is, is action. Amen. And I hear everybody talking about a man of action. Mm-hmm. He did not just talk about, but he he demonstrated it. Mm-hmm. And because of his demonstration of love, uh, your lives have been changed. Your lives have been touched. Your situation has been made better or has been made different. Uh, and that's what. Christianity is all about. That's right. You often say Christianity is not a religion. So many people call Christianity a religion. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is a lifestyle. And we demonstrate the life of Jesus in our lives. Hallelujah. Yes. And Jesus was a man that not just not taught love, but he showed he love. Showed it. And this morning, when I was meditating this morning, trying to get direction for the day, and and Spirit kept me back to John three sixteen. For God so, so loved, loved the world, world. hallelujah! And because He loved the world, it said He done something. Right. He gave. He gave. Oh, hallelujah! And if the love that you have that I called you to have to deal and make a sacrifice sometime, despite of this world, you how you feel, what you feel, what you want to do, what the folks like you or not, what the folks appreciate you or not, you don't do it because you do it because you love. Church world, hip 
want you to understand that this is what love is all about. God so loves the world that he gave and then he gave us what? The best that he had. Somebody one day in a song said God gave us the best that he had. When did he do it? When he gave us his only son. He could have sent us an angel but he still he gave us all that I believe I told he gave us all that he had.
you know the stepping good Samaritan, that the man that had fallen among thieves and they had uh -huh. robbed him, they had yeah. killed him, they had left him yeah. for dead. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's why I say I, I tell God sometimes, sometimes I thank God that sometimes it's not Sometimes the church folks. Because it's up to some of us church folks to do good to other folks. Some of us will be too religious. I'm going to tell you the truth. There were problems I heard you say a while ago, somebody said a while ago, that some of your old older people had your trash can that needed to be pulled to the bowl. Amen. And, 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 and you won't able to do it. But but Pancho didn't wait for you to ask him if he saw the can. He went and got the can. I used to see him days going through our community uh, on just uh, the day before the trash man would come. I would see him, but I didn't know what he was doing. But I started noticing he was going around the house and he was taking the trash can out of the door, back out of the door inside the house, and rolled him out to the to the street. And then on the day after they had picked up my loose, he would be coming back. He came and put him back in in their yard. Thank you, Jesus. But I wonder how many of us be religious folks. Uh -oh. I wonder how many of us church folks. So the same test came. But we were too busy. Yeah. The, the Bible said this man had fallen among thieves that had beat him, robbed him, uh -huh. left him from dead. But the Bible said then the Levites came back. Uh oh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. But because of the possibility, he was on his way to the temple. Mm -hmm. He was too busy to stop mm -hmm. to take care of this man's mm -hmm. need. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Sadly, here comes the priest. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing about it, the Bible gives us the impression that they saw it. Yeah. Oh, y'all didn't get that. In other words, they saw it. Right. Mm -hmm. The situation. They saw that the man had been beaten. Right. They saw that the man had been wounded. Yeah. They saw that the man was yeah. in But the Bible said they turned their yeah. and they coughed yeah. on the other side yeah. to keep from being involved yeah. with that man. With that man. Yeah. I thank God that Pancho was not that kind of man. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. But then the Bible said, then here comes oh. Samaritan. Yeah. Somebody that should not yeah. have even cared. Yeah. Because it is believed that the man that had got beaten was a Jew. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying it, if I'm telling it right, right. the man that had been beaten was a Jew. That's right. And according to the religious status, Jews and Gentiles Hallelujah. did not have any children. Right. And the one that should have stopped, yes. the one that should have yes. kept the man, passed by on the other side because they had something else. Right. To do. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. But the Samaritan, most of us know him as the good Samaritan. <laughs> because his good yeah. outweighed even what the religious folks Come on. had done. Yeah. When I look at him, I think of the good Samaritan. Yeah. The one that maybe shouldn't have even Stop by and done what they've done for some of us. But he did. Because of the love that was in it. My, my final words was I had an experience with Pancho some weeks ago, maybe now almost a month. I used to notice that my neighbor right there, about two doors for me. I don't know what he was for God, his God, but he was always out there in that God. And, 
and he was trying to keep the, the grass from taking over them columns. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't even know whether they were his columns. <laughs> Yeah. He was also 
Lord willing to take what he had to bless somebody else so that they could be blessed. We're going to miss him. We're going to miss him in our community. We're going to miss him in Princeville. We're going to miss him in Southern Terry. He was a friend. He was a fellow member. He was a community person. And he helped all of us whatever he needed. Uh, whatever he had. He would ride by sometimes. If he saw something that he thought needed to be done, he would ask you, can I, can I do that? Can I, can I do that? Thank you, God. Thank you, God. A good Samaritan. Should have not have done it. But he did. And because of that, I want to say to the family, thank you for doing what you've done. Because through what you've done, God blessed him to do what he done. And certainly Terry was a blessing in the because of a good Samaritan. That was not always like the rest of us. And I hope that we all have learned. That even though he may be gone now, that whenever there is an opportunity to us to do good, let us do good, not only to those that do good to us, but let us do good to others that do can continue to happen in our community. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. But I want to say this, you can't do that kind of work that he done without the love of God in your life. And so I, I leave the day giving everybody an opportunity. In order to be able to walk in this kind of love, that God can love, the love that calls you to do things not because of, but to do things in spite of, can only come by you knowing Jesus Christ. This season, all that's going to start singing all of these songs about this little child that was born. But today, I'm here to tell you, one day he was still a child. One day he became a man. And one day he took all of our sins, all of our prayers, he took all of our problems. And he was there the problems to decide for all of us. And today, if we don't know this, today is what we need. I give you to yeah. this triple season. I give you the greatest yeah. gift that God will have to have in His name is Jesus. Jesus. Amen. The uh, 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 the brand new bicycle and all the other stuff you're gonna get on the tree is fine, but the best gift Hallelujah. for you is to yeah. give the Lord Jesus Christ and give you yeah. the ever blessed the Lord Jesus Christ from your life and to save your dying soul. Amen. You need to do it today. So right where you are, yeah. if you get serious with your life right now, the most important thing right now you have is your soul. Yeah. And the Bible says, what profits a man to gain the whole world? Yeah. But at the end of life, you lose your soul. What can a man heal in a change of his oh, soul? God. Your soul is the most important thing. And if you really care about your soul today, ask Jesus Christ, invite Jesus Christ into your life. Ask the Holy Spirit of God to come in and begin to control and direct and empower you to walk the walk. And Sunday Terry will continue to be yes, a great community. Princeville will continue to be a great uh, city because of the love of God in our, in our community. So God bless you. Have a smile.
to the family of Pancho. We thank you. As we prepare for the final viewing, we'd like to remind you of the burial for Francisco Guerrero, better known as Pancho, will follow the Dancing Memorial Cemetery in Princeville. Reminding those of you who will be processing to the cemetery, please turn on your bright lights and flashes for safety. After the viewing, we're going to ask for some volunteers to serve as flower bearers and pall bearers. So we please ask you to assist us as we prepare to exit after the viewing. So we're going to ask our songbird <laughs> to give us a selection of her choice, and we're directing our final viewing. Thank you. 